Welcome to a video from LitchyLife.com At the Surface Laptop Studio for a couple of weeks so I thought I'd do a quick recap of how I'm getting along with it um, So I'm going to talk about a little bit about the pen and the touch and using the different options and the design and the keyboard, that kind of thing So it's got, so first I'll talk about the design It's got a real nice solid feel to it It weighs um, just under £4, £3.83 uh, and it is really nicely solid constructed. It's the nicest feeling, most premium laptop I've probably used. Um, if, if you look, everything is fitted and fits well. It's got curved edges everywhere. So it's kind of got that uh, sort of split underneath where it's slightly smaller underneath than, uh, than the top part. And I think that's a, a nice design touch on it. You've only got a couple of ports on here. You've got Thunderbolt 4 USB-C and the Surface connector and headphones on there. Nice to see headphones on there actually. A nice little place for the store of the pen as well, so we'll come back to the pen. But anyway, it feels it feels really nice so and really well made. So it's got that real premium feel to it because it is a premium device. So the most unique thing about the laptop studio is the screen. So well, it looks like a, a normal laptop. You can do some extra things with this screen. It kind of takes on it, takes over from where the Surface Book 3 was but with this rather than a detachable screen it's got something that can go into different postures as Microsoft call them so a bit of a tilt on the screen and it pops out like that you can then put it into this studio posture which I really like using for video editing uh, it's absolutely ideal for that and you can see here so the key, it goes over the keyboard like that and the keyboard's near, right in front of you. So this is, yeah. so the screen is right here in front of you. So it's great for that immediate, immediate mode. And of course, you can do other things with it. You can have it on an angle like that, so kind of like here's a, a lower posture. Uh, you can go right the way down into tablet mode, and it's uh, it's like it's in full tablet mode then. So you can use it as a tablet. It's a big tablet. Um, but actually it works really well. You've got the pen, you've got touch, and yeah, it's got a nice tablet. So yeah, it's big, the tab in tablet mode, but it works really well. The other thing you can do as well is push the screen back round like this, so that you've got it in some in like a presentation mode as well. So you can have it like that as well. So the screen runs at 2400 by 1600, so that's just 201 PPI uh, with... Uh, 1500 to 1 contrast ratio and an aspect radio ratio of 3.2. The screen is great. It looks really clear, really bright. There's very smooth scrolling on it with the 120 hertz display. Um, the clarity is excellent and the colour reproduction is brilliant. So it, the, the screen is really nice, really impressive with that. Some other things I found with it as well. It's super quick to start up and get you signed in, especially using um, the Windows Hello it's a bit slower then because I'm sat at an angle with, with my camera, the way the camera is. But actually, it works great. You, as soon as you open it, it's on. If it's in a sort of deep sleep, it takes a couple of seconds longer to come on, but it's it's super, super quick to come on then. So that makes it, you know, you open out your bag and get it straight on, and that works really well. So I'm, I'm impressed with that. Now let's talk about the pen. So the uh, Slim Pen 2 it's part of a deal where you get this at the moment, uh, or it, can, it is sold separately, but I got this as part of the deal. It clips underneath here, uh, it's magnetically, and that is solid, and it's definitely not going to go anywhere. You, you're not going to lose that at all. It is completely solid, uh, but pops off nice and easily, but you can hear it snaps right into place. Let me put it into this posture as well, and then we can, we can try this. The, the screen, the, the pen on it. So, um, button at the, at the top there to open in your, whatever application you want. So when you actually come to use the pen, it's got some haptic feedback and it actually, you can actually feel that's the pen effect. So if I go over, say here, the, the start menu where, where it's not part of one note, that's smooth, there's no resistance. When I go on here, I can feel the resistance and the, the more I push, the more resistance there is. So it gives you that sort of writing it on paper effect so the pen works really well with it i do like that feedback on you get with it i use the pen a lot from in meeting notes and putting tablet mode that kind of thing as you detach the pen you see you get a little pen menu popping up there 
you can customize what the pen button does, whether it opens OneNote or Whiteboard or whatever your, your chosen application is, and you've got the eraser on it as well. But I, I really like using the pen. It's nice and slim, and actually works with other devices like the Surface Duo too, so uh, that's great. But yeah, I'm not going to lose the pen because it sticks in there and uh, holds it very firmly, and it charges it up as well while it's doing, doing that, so it's ch charging the pen at the same time. Now let's have a look at the trackpad. So um, the trackpad, I really like. It's it's large and that's got haptic feedbacks on it as well. So as you click, you can probably hear that through there. You can hear the clicking sound, but it's not actually uh, physically moving. It's ha haptic feedback on there. So it feels like a proper trackpad that's clicking, but it responsive anywhere, all over and uh, you can control that strength you can you can um, you can turn it off you can have it uh, a, a stronger feedback you get th that choice on there but the, the trackpad is fantastic it's, so it supports all the usual gestures and things like that so um, trackpad really like as for the keyboard I found the keyboard brilliant um, very nice feel to the keyboard, better than the Surface Laptop 2, which I was used to, or something like a Surface Pro. It's got a nice travel there, very positive feel, and no wobble or anything else like that. If you're using the Surface Pro, you've got that slight flex into it. There's no flexing with this at all. Very solid uh, performing keyboard. So a combination of the keyboard and the trackpad go together really well. Uh, some other things I found on it. Uh, webcam, excellent as well the um, 1080p camera on there it works great so doing some team calls you can check out the podcast on the newslives.com where I've been using it really good uh, webcam so I've, I've enjoyed using that um, performance I've got the i5 model here um, I've not done a huge amount of performance testing with it what I have done is I've done a couple of videos rendering on here using Camtasia Studio and um, I had a video that rendered, it took about two minutes to render on a Surface Laptop 2 and it took just over a minute here on the Laptop Studio. So I guess it, what your performance will, will, will vary depending on what you do, but it, it, yeah, I found the, it's very snappy, everything works fine. I've got a number of Hyper-V images set up on here and they work fine. I can, I've got Virtual Windows 11, I've got Virtual Windows Server um, and, and they work great. So performance is great I'm, on my laptop too i found i have to shut down the virtual machines if, if things were going slow i don't get this issue at all so uh plenty of performance from there i'm guessing it's got the uh, 11th gen intel so it has the 11th gen intel core processor the uh h series there are faster devices out there this is the quad core version there are faster versions of that processor out there but it's worked great for me so i find the performance been been really good as well so I mentioned earlier about ports so these are Thunderbolt uh, USB Thunderbolt 4 USB type C port I've been using that this with the with my Dell USB C dock actually which uh, works really well so it's a cheaper uh, alternative to the surface docks and um, works perfectly fine so I have got a surface dock that I've had for a while that works fine with it but now I just tend to use the, the USB C plug it straight in and everything that's on the desk is 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 all there so yeah you've only got the two ports on there but you, you can plug uh, usb type c devices in if i even used a vga uh also hdmi uh, adapter um which is usb type c and i've uh, been connecting a monitor through it that way as well so um you've, you've got plenty of connectivity options so, so far I've had no issues with it, Wi-Fi, everything else works, charging fine. It comes with Windows 11 pre-installed, uh, which works brilliantly. It does work very well on a device like this, um, especially when you start putting it into the different modes, uh, into the different postures. I've been really pleased with the device. I'm trying to get an idea of battery life. I've still not really done, uh, completed the testing on this. I'm finding... I'm getting most of the day on the battery life. Uh, I tend to use it a lot on the on the dock, so it's charging. So I don't really let it run flat. So I need to do some more testing on the battery. But I've been using it in the evening for a couple of hours, and it's maybe using ten, twenty percent, something like that. I, I, I'm I would imagine I probably get about ten, twelve hours on it. But uh, I need to do some more testing uh, to prove that. 
it gets a little warm as well, I've noticed as well, when it's charging up. But uh, apart from that, I'm really enjoying using this device. It's the most premium feeling device that I've used and it works really well with Windows 11. You've got the pen, the tablet, you've got the pen, you've got touch and everything else. So a really nice device. I'll do some more testing with it and maybe in a few months time I can report how I'm getting on with it. So thanks for watching this video. You can see my unboxing on the digitallifestyle.com plus all the Windows 11 tips and uh, smart home videos and everything else. Thanks for watching.